Hi guys, it's Drew, and I'm going to be doing a Q&A video for you guys today. Sorry I haven't posted in like two weeks. I promise you guys it was not my fault. It's honestly AT&T's fault, so literally call them and say, um, you have not allowed you to post videos, so you should probably be sued. But anyways, what happened was AT&T, like our internet's been out for 14 days now, and they've had nine different technicians come over and attempt to fix it. Still hasn't fixed it. I don't know what's up. But I just decided to, that I was going to film and then maybe go over to one of my friends' house later or something and upload this video using their internet. So I'm just going to like leech off them if that's okay. But anyways, I'm going to be doing a Q&A video. I asked you guys over on Instagram that, what questions you guys would like to have answered. And I want to do one of these like every two weeks. So please leave any additional questions you, questions that maybe have not been answered in the down bar below. Or you can comment on my Instagram photos here. I don't use Twitter or Facebook very much, so ma mainly everything's on Instagram if you want to ask me questions. William Beatty asks favorite store, and my favorite store would definitely have to be Zara. I am obsessed with Zara, just all of the clean silhouettes and like the intricate details on their clothing, and especially their men's collections. Their men's collections are so much more trendier and modern and up-to-date than any other fast fashion retailer. Like, I'm, I have not shopped at Forever 21 or H&M in probably pa the past six months. I don't know why, I just like... When I started fashion school, I was I realized that like quality over quantity, and so I have started to buy more expensive, more quality items compared to like Forever 21 more inexpensive items. Owen Trask asked me, um, how often do you get your hair cut? Um, if I had the option, I would definitely get my hair cut like every two weeks, but I probably get it done every month just because the guy that I go to is kind of expensive. Well, I get my hair cut, it's $40 every month, and I feel like that's a little expensive, and I wouldn't want to spend $80 every month getting my hair cut twice, so I get it once a month. NXFIIS underscore asks, where from, where slash from, whom do you get your fashion inspiration from? And I honestly, I don't know where I get my fashion inspiration from, mainly the website Lookbook. If you guys did not know, I have a Lookbook account. I will post the link in the down bar below, but I always post on Lookbook which um, outfits I'm wearing, and I always look at the men's um, style icons on Lookbook, and I just really love to look there for a lot of fashion inspiration. I do also follow a few fashion inspiration Instagram accounts, and I will put those in the down bar below if you guys want to check those out as well. YouTube Sass asks, did your parents find it weird when you told them that you wanted to pursue fashion? And not really. Actually, no, not at all. I just told them I wanted to be a fashion designer at first, and they were like, oh, cool, blah, 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 blah. So then I applied for the college I'm currently at, and I actually changed my major from fashion design to a design that's more business, marketing, and fashion mixed. So it wasn't solely just design, because I don't really want to be a fashion designer anymore. I definitely want to do something in a corporation, but not the design. Like, I don't want to be designing my own line or something like that. I want to work within a company, maybe do like um, creative director or something like that. Samuel Staffney asks, why did you start making YouTube videos? What's your secret advice of getting a popular YouTube channel? Can I ever make a vid Can you ever make a video of how you edit your YouTube videos? I started making YouTube videos just because I realized that there was like a huge lack of men's style videos. I literally follow only two people right now that are men's style video channels. If you guys have any more, leave them in the comments below because I'd love to check out some of your guys' style channels as well. But I only follow about two right now and um, I just felt like there was a lack of like a men's style community on YouTube so I wanted to start my own channel. And when I first started I posted a video and didn't expect it to, get, to do anything and right now I think it, it has over 100,000 views and that's what motivated me to do more. And just like you guys commenting and thumbsing up my videos really motivates me to do more and more. And I just love making them just because I feel like they're helpful and um, I don't know, I just, I like to create them. And the secret advice, I don't know if there's secret advice, I guess just make sure that what you're saying is actually your own, like what you actually think. Don't just go off of what someone else says. So if someone else says, I really like this item, don't make a video about how you really like that item too, just because they have a popular YouTube channel or you think they are cool or they inspire you. Even if they inspire you, don't like solely take what they want. Like make sure it's your own personal content, your own personal opinions, and your own thoughts. I think that really creates a cool YouTube channel. And also, um, I don't know what else, just I guess good lighting and a good camera also helps. I just feel like it makes your content more clear and more visually, visually appealing to um, like people like you. Chalk Core asks, what makes you happy? Um, probably like Starbucks, um, what else? 
probably clothes, probably blogs, probably other people's YouTube videos, um, probably Tumblr. Brett Hoffman 15 asks, how would you describe your style? And I don't know exactly how I describe my style. I guess it's a little bit edgy, but it's also a little bit minimal. I don't do a whole ton, so I really like solid colors like micro pen prints, I'm not into huge graphic shirts, anything like that, so I do like the more subtle patterns and solid colors, so I really like the minimalistic look, and I'm a little edgy as well, I really like like the edgy, sharp, edgy curves, lines, things like that. Impacted Minds asks, what's three items you would grab if you were in a fire? And I thought about this earlier, and I was probably like, um, my phone, my laptop, and my phone charger. Okay, this is my last question, and it's kind of a funny one. It's from my friend Jersey at school, but I've taken three different textile classes. Uh, I've taken textile science, fabric ID, and textile color and design management application, or something like that. I don't even remember the name. But anyways, I know a lot about fabrics. Like, we had to learn about fiber content, like 200 different types of fabrics from silk, linen, everything like that. And sh Jersey asks, would you consider yourself a flannel back satin weave boucle knit with the Gore-Tex finish or a matte lisse flannelette chenille jersey trico Rochelle power mesh with a brush net finish? And I definitely think I would be the, um, the matte lisse flannelette chenille jersey trico Rochelle power mesh with a brush net finish, but I think that it'd probably include a little bit of linen Gore-Tex polyurethane coating with a embossed pleather leather finish. That's definitely what I'd be. So that was all, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this little video. I just wanted to get something up for you guys and answer some of your questions because I didn't want you to think I was dead or something. But if you guys want to see more of my content, you can follow my blog at bindrewscott.com. I post literally every other day. I post outfits, shopping videos, or not videos, shopping posts, things like that. Just anything kind of style slash lifestyle related is over there. And I post on Instagram um, like at least once a day over at I'm Drew Scott on Instagram. You can follow me there because I'm always posting. And I want to thank you all for watching this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. And subscribe to this channel if you would like to see more. Thanks so much. Bye, everybody.